looks like we have one, at least somebody that's watching out there this evening. It is Wednesday, uh, November 14th, and uh, today uh, is Wednesday, and if you have been following our channel, uh, we upload new videos every single Wednesday. Now, this Wednesday, I was not prepared or necessarily planning on uh, going live, but uh, the way things turned out, I wasn't ready to post our uh, upload for the week, and I wanted to make sure that I followed through with our every Wednesday upload. So, <laughs> here I am. Uh, you are in our studio, and I'm just trying to kind of unwind. I guess this is kind of a behind the scenes, um, if you would call it that. Uh, if you are watching, I see there's at least one person that is viewing. I am currently uh, sharing this to uh, all of our uh, platforms, or at least a few of them, on our social media platforms. Um, if you could please help me do that so that I could deliver uh, the message, that would be great, uh, very helpful. Um, so if you don't mind just waiting at least a minute, possibly two, I'm just gonna share this into a couple of groups. Uh, if you have not joined our Echo Tail Blade Bait Club on Facebook, uh, that would be, uh, if you go to the Facebook group, just type in Echo Tail uh, Club, or Echo Tail Blade Bait Club, uh, you can find us there, and uh, there you will find special offers periodically given to only Echo Tail Blade Bait Club members. So, um, I'm going to share over there. And if you have any friends that like to fish, please, or uh, family that you think uh, would be interested in what we're doing here, um, I guess I'm flat out just asking for people's help to help us share our, our content. We've got some really cool stuff coming out. And um, for those of you that don't know about us, uh, we are company, a small company that has been around since 2011, and uh, we started a, a, a new product called an Echo Tail Blade Bait. Uh, blade baits have been around for uh, many uh, years, almost generations really now, um, and what we did was we came up a way to, with being able to interchange the soft plastic tail. So that's, uh, that's kind of our, our claim to fame in the uh, fishing world. Um, outside of that, um, we are just a regular family that loves to spend time in the outdoors. And I do have, this is my last share, I do apologize for a little delay here but I have to make sure that my message gets distributed what we're looking for I would like to get a sound check can anybody hear me I just if you could just give me a yes or a no um, that would be uh, very helpful um, if I could just get a quick uh, let, let me know if my if my sound is coming through this evening um, uh, but before I get started here my name is Justin um, I'm by the way I apologize for the delay I am done with that now with uh, sharing this video live feed. Um, as mentioned, every single Wednesday I have promised to upload a video. Um, I am I, I wanted to shoot for that 12.30 time, around that lunch hour time. Um, 
and uh, we're going to try to kind of stick to that game plan. It may shift a little bit, maybe a little bit later on in the day, uh, but the biggest uh, the biggest uh, reason we would do that would be because our viewers would like us to maybe go a little bit after lunch. Um, so uh, please leave us a comment on what time, uh, you know, let's face it, 12.30 is a great time in between work, but, you know, uh, maybe you need something to kill some time at work and listen to. So that's what we're all about. We're kind of like a, a Wednesday, kind of a hump day uh, upload. Uh, many of our uploads, um, I'm going to be trying to shoot for them to be a little bit on the shorter end, um, depending upon what it is that we're trying to do. Um, for those of you that have not subscribed to our uh, YouTube channel here at Vibrations Tackle, be sure you subscribe. And uh, oftentimes we will be uploading new videos. Um, a lot of them, we have many how-to uh, videos and training videos on our product line, making sure that our customers get the best experience possible uh, with with what it is that they're purchasing from us. Um, that is our job and that is important to us. So um, those videos are being edited um, uh, over the last couple weeks. Um, so if you hit the bell in the right hand corner, there's like a little bell there if you're new to YouTube, uh, you'll know that you've hit it because you'll see like a little quotation mark around the bell. Um, but every single time that we upload, you will get a, uh, a notification directly to your phone saying, hey, we're going live. Um, or we have uploaded a new video. For example, we have a new video coming out on one of our grab and go kits that uh, my dad put together um, that you can find on our website back at vibrationstackle.com. Um, but uh, before I really start getting into the meat and potatoes here, I've got a, a, a few highlights uh, that I would like to broadcast tonight. Um, and those highlights uh, are very important. Uh, but before that, I want to give a shout out to uh, Dan Butcher at the Outdoor Trade Show channel. Um, if you have not uh, checked out his Facebook page or their Facebook page, um, please do so. If you are a an outdoorsman and you like to, uh, if you're a, a, a guide or you have a product, uh, my my friend Dan Butcher has started a really really cool thing, and he takes uh, he's got a lot of passion in products, especially for those that uh, like us. Um, you know, we're a startup company. It's tough out there. It's a tough tough. It's a tough way to to. Uh, you know, as a startup in a very competitive uh, outdoor industry, let's face it. So, what Dan has done, if you've watched his last, every Sunday night he goes live on Facebook, check out his Facebook page as mentioned, but he actually, we have landed, or he, Dan, has successfully landed, and I do believe, I, I know he is, Dan, I'm sorry if I've blown this, I know I watch you announce this and make it, but he's got a Hulu channel. Um, it is up and running, um, so uh, Dan's worked very hard to get his own TV channel, and that's what, uh, you know, we're a team, all of us. Uh, we've got a small, really small group of guys that are working together um, night and day, it seems like. Somebody's always up to something, um, almost 24-7 around the clock here. So um, thank you so much to Outdoor Trade Show channel. Um, they are going to be specializing in in uh, firearms as well and talking about different uh, accessories. Uh, Carlos from Red Legion Tactical, um, he is working on their website so there will be uh, more to come. Uh, it sounds like in the very near future so congratulations Outdoor Trade Show channel. Um, so uh, with that being said, uh, like I said before, uh, please um, help us share our channel. I know it's been, uh, for those of you that have been following us, uh, we kind of slipped off the map here for a little bit. I took a few years uh, to redesign and redevelop a lot of things behind the scenes that not many people are able to see. Um, but you're, you're behind the scenes right now, so that's why I'm talking about it. Um, but uh, we're, we're ready to kind of like relaunch. I've been testing a few things out and I apologize I, I'm trying to get into that um, routine where we can find a way to be able to have a presence uh, again social media has changed so much from back in 2011 when when I first started engaging into this 
the full deal. Um, but uh, I am uh, going back to the title or the heading description on um, the, the feed here. Uh, we do have a new product that I'm going to be going over uh, shortly after a couple highlights here. Um, number one highlight, uh, one of our YouTube uh, playlists, um, our family is going to be starting a, a family vlog. And that vlog uh, has been in motion uh, with, with planning, carefully planning with my wife, my kids, um, in, in how we're going to do this. And long story short, my kids wanted to start a YouTube channel because they are watching all these YouTube channels that with other kids and their family shooting vlogs. And I told them, I'm like, guys, there, there's absolutely no way that I can, I just don't have enough time right now to monitor and it does need to be monitored because they're my kids and I, I love them and I don't want them to potentially get into a harmful situation online. So um, I'm kind of like their shield and I, you know, after, uh, if you've been following what we've been doing here, uh, with with our channel, um, I'm highlighting uh, one of the areas lately that our product line really excels, and I think I'm going to leave that for another uh, video or upload. Uh, but if you go back to our original trailer video, um, you're going to uh, kind of see a, a, a you know about a, a two minute little snapshot about travel in our in our product line which we've been using for um, without even knowing it was kind of like a ha ha moment um, where we were using it the entire time for traveling <laughs> it's kind of a convenient thing that we didn't really think of it was kind of took it for granted and we're like hey um, we've been tra <laughs> we've been had the luxury of being able to travel with all the stuff um, without it taking up a lot of space I mean is the gist of it I mean it gets way more depth into that as to why and the options and everything else but like I said let's save that for another another video uh, 13 minutes in here okay so the family vlog we're gonna be calling that family fishing uh, travel and paddle outdoors um, and it's just our family you know and it's our it's our uh, it's gonna be our family vlog and it's kind of behind the scenes my kids want to shoot a vlog like the other family vlog so as long as they're having fun um, and you know you can kind of see what we do um, as a family we've got four kids uh, we just had uh, Mia she's uh, almost six months now Hunter's four and, and Carly and Autumn are, are seven and eight so uh, it's a very busy time for us which is kind of why I wasn't prepared to have an upload tonight um, because they are more important to my family more important to me to making sure that they're taken care of before our business and our videos. Um, but we are trying to plan ahead and we're trying to free schedule things. Um, so uh, with that being said, so we got the family vlog going on, um, events coming up. Um, the first event, I wouldn't necessarily call it an event, but I would call it one of our very strong, two of our strong bites during the winter time is ice approaches. In fact, if you are in Madison, you would see that the mat, the lake, if you check out our Facebook page, my dad posted a picture this morning. He was actually skimmed over. Um, not safe. I'm not advising anybody without a doubt. Do not go out on to the lake. It's just skimmed over. Um, it'll probably be melting in the next couple days here. we got some nice weather with deer hunting season coming up as it is the opener in Wisconsin this weekend. So, um, so anyways, uh, ice fishing. I went off on a tangent. Uh, we have our whitefish rigs that we will be uploading onto our website uh, very soon. Uh, if you go to Green Bay, you're going to want to have one of our whitefish rigs, um, along with uh, some advice. If anybody has any questions about our whitefish rigs, please contact Captain Zach Burgess. Um, you can get a hold of him on his website um, or contact me directly, and I can put you in touch with him. Um, he's got some sleeper shacks up there. It is a blast. I've been up there. He will be trying to get out some some uploads of some of those adventures with Zach over the last few years. So, um, with that being said, the other uh, the other big one is our lake trout jigs, uh, which I'm holding one right here. This is a new model. Uh, in fact, we actually caught. Uh, a whitefish on a rattle, uh, or we call shakers here, vibrations, tackles, 
Um, so that's that. Uh, but the main event that we have coming up in 2019, we're going to be back to the few trade shows that we've kind of dropped them except for Madison. So we'll be starting off the second weekend in January. We'll be down to Chicago Muskie, uh, the Muskie Expo down there. Um, and then in February, we will be at the Milwaukee Muskie Expo. Uh, and then wrapping up, we will be in Madison at the Wisconsin Fishing Expo. Now, we'll have two booths at that expo. We're going to have one on the main floor. And last year, they added a kayak corridor that we will also have a booth in for the second year in a row. Um, I... Uh, it was enjoyable to have a booth there to see the camaraderie around the, the really the paddle sport industry um, growing in, in uh, Wisconsin or in Madison, Wisconsin. Um, and I want to point out too one of the reasons we have the booth there so that we can um, advertise um, and uh, you know in that Madison area the tournament that we've now been hosting go, uh, for three years and, and going to be hosting for. Uh, the fourth year going into uh, 2019 so uh, it is hosted on our home body of water where my where I grew up fishing where my dad grew up fishing um, and it's the kayak market is uh, is a great uh, fit for our product line because of the versatility and the amount of options that can be packed in a very small container when space is limited so um, you know, it's just kind of, I, you know, I, to me, I, I was just talking to Rob Wendell, uh, yes, as of yesterday morning. And I, you know, when I talked with him, we were talking about some other stuff I can't really talk about right now. I hope too soon, but we don't know for sure. And I will be going live with that. <laughs> it's some exciting news if it does happen. If it doesn't, then we'll scratch this. So, um, but at any rate, um, I, I could not, growing up in the Madison, McFarland, Wisconsin area, um, I couldn't believe that this kayak fishing had not taken Wildstorm yet in, in Madison with all of the public access, it has great fishing, um, got four lakes and just a tremendous amount of access and a lot of good places to go and eat. We got hotels and um, we'll reserve uh, the, that park, Lake Farm Park, we got camping. But in general, Madison is just a great area um, for kayak destination. It really has kind of, for some reason, been overlooked. Um, I know Rutabaga Paddle Sports uh, started guiding um, and hiring their own guides out of there a few years ago. So um, they kind of turned the wrench on that a little bit. Uh, so um, I got to stop in there. If you're Rutabaga Paddle Sports, they are in uh, Lake Monona, and you can actually rent kayaks right there. Um, I think they're mostly set up for just uh, casual kayaking, and, and I think they may have a few fishing models, if I'm not uh, mistaken, but I don't, I, I'm not sure on that. Call them up, ask them, uh, Rutabaga Paddle Sports in Monona, Wisconsin. Um, let's see, uh, so we've got the events, the trade shows. Um, I recently had a question um, from uh, Joseph. Uh, and I'm going to answer in between here. I got one more in between this talking about this cool new, uh, these grab and go kits that we're putting together. I want to answer a question here that Joe had uh, emailed me. And uh, here's what Joe, here's what Joe wrote or email in a recent email or Joseph, um, Joseph Z. Thank you for the order. My idea for a video because I'm always asking for ideas for videos because we want to make videos about what other people want to see. So thank, thank you for your or thank you for my order. My idea for a video would be on the equipment you throw your bait on and why. Also, I was wondering what model St. Croix rod you use for throwing your bait. I have unfortunately destroyed a couple medium action rods this year and uh, he's in the market. He says I'm in the market to replacing uh, my my rod. So he would like to look into St. Croix models. Number one, good choice. <laughs> um, for those of you that um, that uh, have been following us over the last uh, 
probably five years, um, we we uh, strongly uh, encourage our customers to um, use their St. Croix rods or at least look into them. Um, I'm not saying that other rods are not good for our product line. I just choose to um, uh, push St. Croix because I've used St. Croix rods for a very long time and they're a uh, Wisconsin-based company and they're great people and um, they helped and reached out to us um, a few years back in uh, kind of partnering with a little sweepstakes and um, we have a good, good, you know, bond that way, and I like their products. I believe in their products. Uh, so to answer your question, Joe, um, the equipment, yeah, I agree. We should be making a, a video on specifically the equipment and probably breaking it down into multiple sections that we could make available on our website. Um, <coughs> what model, St. Croix? Um, it's kind of a loaded question. Um, I'm assuming, Joe that you like to fish walleye. I believe you're down uh, in the Iowa. You're probably into the, I think you said you fish like the Sugar River and stuff like that. Um, it's hard to go, uh, you know, you can't go wrong with, um, I like those St. Croix Avid rods. And now recently, now we've been pushing, it's been following us a lot of braided line with floral carbon leader, you know, anywhere from you know, really a foot and a half to three foot, maybe even five foot fluorocarbon leaders. Um, the fluorocarbon leader does a couple things. Number one, it reduces line visibility. Number two, it's got a, a stretch in it, um, which allows for a little bit more, <coughs> excuse me, um, bunginess, I guess, with someone that fish hit it. You got that no stretch line. And they can, you don't want them to feel because a lot of times they'll, they'll hit the blade and you want them to keep hitting it so they close their mouth. So um, a little bit of stretch kind of, you know, depending upon where you're fishing it and how you're fishing it. If you're fishing over bait fish for sure because of the fact that uh, they're probably eating them thinking that they're mimicking the blades are profiled like bait fish, right? So and there's a difference between that and a reaction strike. But uh, I have started using a lot more uh, mono, or, uh, monofilament to long leads of fluorocarbon, um, mostly with even with our blade baits now. Um, you certainly have a good feel with that braid, but the monofilament to fluorocarbon, um, you just, something you just got to get used to. It, it's something there's, you know, you, we've gotten so used to this really hard thump of the blade bait on braid, I and mean, you can't miss it. But, I th and I think that's really where the St. Croix, thinking about this now, really comes in. The sensitivity of St. Croix, and I like those Avid X rods, and I'll tell you why in one second. But the, that, that flex in that line, I remember as a kid, that's all I used was, was, uh, was really monofilament. I mean, it has stretch in it, right? I think I, I was dropped the numbers one time before I offer those. I want to confirm them on the percentage of stretch between spray fluorocarbon and, and monofilament but you know the the sensitive rod allows for a little bit more detection especially with the, the, the stretchier line so um, I do like once again the St. Croix uh, Avid rod that rod is in the in about a $200 price range um, it's got very small guides and getting into why I like that rod. There's something about that rod, and what I want to do is actually go into a pool and do some do, kind of experiment myself and put some underwater cameras down. But the what I like is the rod tip. I like using a little bit lighter, like a uh, almost like a like a medium, like a fast action, but like a more of like a medium light. Where that rod, the rod tip on the Synchro X kind of comes to a very narrow. It's very narrowed at the end, and but the but it's got good. It's got very good backbone. It's not flimsy, but it's 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 got enough whip in it to create kind of like when you snap the blade up. If you're vertical jigging, now I'm not talking about casting. It does cast well too because of the small guides. Uh, but as far as snapping it up, I feel like that that whip of that when you get that thing to flex it kind of it kind of snaps the jigs up a little more 
especially with the with the note or with the monofilament to the fluorocarbon, if that makes sense. So um, I see we're we're climbing up here um, onto the 26 minute mark. Um, I don't want this to go much over 30 minutes here tonight. So uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. If you're liking this, give us a thumbs up. Let us know what you think. Um, if you have any questions, I will try to get back to you, um, but either via email or um, maybe a live broadcast. So, um, lastly, <coughs> excuse me, our high, our highlighted, uh, our third, excuse me here, <laughs> the highlighted uh, main event here tonight is mentioned in our description is the is the rattle this lake trout ice fishing rattle grab and go kit um the grab and go kits this is going to be kind of one of those deals where this is what we're kind of rolling out with everything um all the way up to the musky models and the main reason for that if you see in here we have and i'm going to open this up so i can show you exactly what comes into this one okay and if you take a look here what we have is we have an echo tail, a new echo tail that's got rattles in it, right? And then we've got another tube underneath here that's got the replacement tails along with the replacement skirt. And we have various uh, hooks uh, and snaps options. So when you buy a product from Vibrations Tackle, uh, we want to make sure that that product uh, the customer can put to use uh, to the best use that they possibly can with items that uh, we have used over a long period of time and field tested and are confident in uh, the ability for them to work for our customers. Um, now that may change from time to time. We may find a snap or something that we, you know, everybody has their preference as to what type of equipment they like to use. So we want to have options for people. It's kind of like, this is kind of like, think about like a GoPro, right? So you got like a GoPro, the, you got the GoPro up on top and underneath, you don't see it, but it's where all the accessories are to that unit. So, you know, a lot of, a lot of uh, people out there that are getting interested in our product line have never even used the blade bait and we're not familiar with blade bait. So um, from the beginning, so it's our job to teach you how to use it, how to use our product, and all the variations <laughs> and variables that um, apply. So that is why uh, we we do this. We want you to have spare tails. If you're catching fish, we don't want you to have to replace the tail with a color that you didn't catch a fish on. You've got spare tails right here. Um, so. Uh, with that being said, what I'm going to do, this is this one here specifically, this is a UV white, all right, and you can see, I'm just going to open this up, and when you open it up, what you're going to see is, it's right now we have them attached to tags, all right, and this one here, you can see it's got this tinsel on it, or the silver mylar, um, and we have positioned, now this is an important um, question or that I'm probably answering for a few out there. We are positioning that top hook, the back hook on the rear of the bait. And the reason we do that is because specifically for lake trout and really with a lot more species now, um, when they're being vertical jigged, those fish come down on top of them and we've had a higher hookup percentage with the hooks up on top. And I think that's important. <laughs> I, I have a, like, like a story to share with you. I had a, a gentleman, a customer that asked, he had called because he had ordered a bunch of quad packs and all of them had the hooks up on top, of course, the walleye quad packs. And he he was wondering, um, you know, cause mo and, and to, his, um, to his defense, most, most blade baits have the hooks on the bottom and I get it. That's why he was kind of confused, and I understand, but no blade bait has a plastic tail, which has allowed this option to have, that to, to offer this option, right? So he was wondering if, if maybe somebody at the, maybe in our shop had a bad day or something, and 
flipped all the hooks around and I, I just I, I have the message I have to talk to him I'd love to to post that I just found it kind of humorous because you know I don't know on a bad day maybe I would put him upside down or something I don't know but at any rate um, this is what you're gonna when you initially open your kit and if you take a look on the website vibrationstackle.com we've got a bass grab and go kit number one um, called the Bass Blade Bait Grab and Go Kit. So that is how it comes, all right? So this one here, like I said, we've added rattles. It gives a little bit more three dimension. And then the, the Mylar offers a little flare, a little flash. Um, now this one here, I like, I think you get the best vibration like on the fourth hole, but you know, if you give it a little more snap, like on the, the third hole, that's okay. But just remember with this hook on the top, when you're snapping it up aggressively, make sure you lower it down. Um, and you're using fluorocarbon because if you're snapping it up aggressively and allowing that bait to fall, it may get tangled in that back hook. Um, but if most, a lot of your blade bait fishermen are used to snapping it up and just kind of letting it fall on a straight, you know, uh, on a straight line. So um, if you want to work it a little more aggressively, that's fine. Just move your snap up. And that's why we offer all these holes or just move your hook down to the bottom um, so there's that and I think the cell the the tails extra tails here pretty self-explanatory um, and then the hook configuration they got this little mini container in here and this is kind of cool um, we got we're gonna offer different this one's actually missing a treble hook but we we make sure that we put the uh, replacement treble hook along with the split rings, a couple snaps, and these are really cool here. These are called, this is a VMC limerick hook. No split ring pliers is needed for this. And where these come in hand, um, come handy is uh, for your ability to kind of uh, reposition these hooks by just simply, all you do is you push them through the hole, and you can kind of push them back through your thumb, you can position them up on the top, you know off to the side you can hang them down below but they're just kind of quick and easy and they're very um and they they're actually very very strong you wouldn't think so but uh these these limer cooks we actually used to put these back on our half ounce back in 2011 and we caught a lot of pike big pike with these um of course playing them out with the drag system not forcing them in with a big musky gear or anything like that but um but it's a nice option i think uh, to have with this kit uh, that we're offering because let's say you don't have a split ring pliers um, well you know maybe you can kind of use your thumb to open the split ring up you don't have another hook just put the you know or maybe just take up pliers and try to cut it off or whatever so that way um, you still have these limit cooks and you don't need a split ring either that's the other part is you don't need a split ring with a limit cook so that's the other advantage um, but the bottom line here is when you uh, kind of getting back, this kind of really kind of goes back into who we are getting, um, well, who we are as a company and what kind of product lines we offer um, to what customers, right? Like, who does it benefit? Um, and, and one of those groups, uh, as mentioned, if you're into traveling, now think about this kit. This is really nice. Um, I, I have these with me um, that I carry or I drive around with. They don't take a whole bunch. A lot of room um, and I can put them in my glove compartment um, and it's a tube and what's nice about it is the tube uh, when you're buying a product from us the nice the, the neat thing about it is that even the tube uh, you're when you're buying this you're buying storage a, a neat storage tube that you could use at home or maybe you don't want to carry it around your car but the point is is that these these little containers they're nice to have around uh, for putting odds and ends in if nothing else so we want to make sure that when you're buying a vibrations tackle product um, you know we are we're making the most out of what we're offering even down to the packaging so that wraps up our upload for Wednesday evening I appreciate those that are watching um, I didn't expect many to come on tonight because of the fact that this was unannounced and I did not do a very good job in, in emailing and sharing and stuff like that so uh, thank you everybody so much for your support. I want to say thank you to my family because without them, this would not be here right now. Um, 
and we've got some really good products that I we've we've worked very hard to to get to where we're at right now with them, uh, with people that have uh, given up and sacrificed their time to get them to help us get them there. So, thank you everybody. God bless. And uh, if you're deer hunting in Wisconsin, please be safe. Wear your blaze orange. Make sure your safeties are on. Point your gun in the right direction. Know where your target is. And know what is beyond. Be safe out there. And God bless. Thank you.